while the while it is a medium priced company, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's unusual. I've never seen that before. Divas, this is Wanda from Wanda's Work Basket. For all things creative and crafty with a little bit of inspiration mixed in. I'd like to share with you a company that is new to me. Um, the product seems okay, but I'm not quite sure about the prices. Let me know down below what you think about them. If you would, uh, if these prices are okay with you for this type of product. All right, this, the company is Pelman, P-E-L-M-A-N. The link will be down below. I want to show you, uh, we'll go small to large on this. I thought for the price that I was getting one of those like unfoldable boxes that you can diamond paint on the front of. Um, these all came in the same type of box, by the way. Uh, they were well packed. I can tell you that much. Um, the I took them out ahead of time because I showed them on the Tuesday Night Live. In case you would like to join us on Tuesday Night Live, I often have unwrappings, unboxings on those nights as well for a first look, at least uh, a part of the order that I want to just want to show you. I will show on the live uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday nights. And um, this is, like I said, it's from a company named Palman, P-A-L-M-A-N. It says Helping Hand Mandala. I liked it because it was red and green. And uh, I don't think you're getting too much of the glare on this. It is a round. The size is 20 by 20, 7.9 inches by 7.9 inches. It has 23 colors. None of them are special drills. It is a mixture of, um, it is a mixture of confetti and color blocking. With these, you get a invent an inventory and instruction sheet. It gives you the invent their inventory number and a picture of. Uh, you know, a rendition of what they uh, imagine it to come out to look like. It will give you all the sequence numbers, the symbols, which in this case are all letter. Well, there's a few numbers and then letters. It gives you the DMC number, color number, but it says ID number on it. it gives you the quantity and the weight that they give you, and then it gives you complete instructions. Okay step-by-step step instructions and then it gives you the same type of thing on this type of sheet eight and a half by eleven piece of paper it's got the same thing twice on here it's just the sequence the code and the DMC color number which is fine because that if you want to you can cut out the piece make a sticker out of it and kit it up that way. Now as you see on this symbol sheet, it's not bright. There are, uh, let's see, this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, you'll notice on here that you can see some of the letters, numbers on top of there. All right, the dark uh, colors, the dark symbol on top of the dark color is not good on here. You can better see it in here on the canvas, but if you notice something different about the symbol chart that is on, on here, the bottom one anyway, does not have the symbol within the color. But if you move to the other side, and I'm trying to do it slowly so not to make you sick, there you go. On this side, it does. That's unusual. I've never seen that before. All right. Um, 
like I said, okay, let me show you the drills. They are, actually, they're square. I, I miss said that. They are not round. They are square. They are acrylics, um, not resin, because you can see the a little indentation underneath it, which is a telltale sign of resin dr uh, acry acrylic drills. And uh, let's see. A nice full range of colors here. I'll hold this one up for you. You can see the quality of the drill in the bag here. I don't see any trash in with it. That's a good thing. Even in the darker colors, I don't see any trash in here. Um, you can see in this one probably the the uh, outline of the dimple in the bottom of the the drill, especially in those right there by my finger here. Yeah, you can see that pretty easily. All right, so they are acrylic, not resin drills. That's fine. As long as you know that ahead of time, that is fine. All right. This one, this in particular, for 20 by 20, was $20. 19 dollars Uh, yeah. Tell me if you think this canvas is worth $20. Compared to something else you may, you may get at another time for $20. Right, I am going to roll this up. It's a nice softy canvas, by the way, and it has the pinked and poked edge, which I like to call it, which means it's a non-frayable edge. There's no thread in it, so it's not surged, but it is decal-edged um, cut, and it has the, the sewing holes poked in it, so I call it pinked and poked. All right, that's the first one. I want to show you the other two. The next one is called Straight Ahead Mandala. I'll back you out a bit so you can see the whole thing. And then we'll work our way in, okay? This is called Straight Ahead Mandala. I liked the, the blue, green, the blue, orange colors in this one. I really liked the colors. It again is a, is a lot of color blocking in this one. I wouldn't say confetti. Uh, there are, are some places where there's just a few colors mixed in, but most of it all is color blocking. It does have the symbols on both on both sides. Again, we have the dark on dark problem but it's fairly easy within the canvas itself to see the symbols. It is a pinked and poked edge. This one is 30 by 30, so it's 11.8 inches by 11.8 inches. On the bottom, I neglected to let you know on the other canvas and on this one, it gives you a thumbnail. It tells you it's too beautiful to hide. Share your masterpiece and tag us at at Palm and Diamonds. We repost every single work. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It gives you other social media. And their um, tag phrase seems to be relax your mind. And I do agree that these canvases are very relaxing. They don't take up a whole lot of brain space as you're doing them and they have a pretty outcome the small one, the 20 by 20 that I that I just showed you, I think I'm going to use it like on the front of um, a notebook cover uh, when I do my Christmas notebook, when I do my holiday notebook and I have, you know, what I like to do, how I like to prepare, the gift lists involved and that kind of thing. Again, we have the, the same instruction sheet with all the information about the the amount of drills, the color of the drills, and that kind of thing. 
and we have the information sheet that gives you all the dimensions and this kind of thing. It gives a much clearer, um, much clearer look at the symbol chart. Now I'm going to bring you in a little bit and show you these. I can see, even in the darker ones, I can see the colors, color symbol listed as well. This one has 30 colors involved in it. It has a few symbols, but it's mostly letters and numbers for the uh, for the symbols. This one is again square. Now, I don't remember if I ordered it square or if they only came in square. If that is your question, I don't remember if they had the same thing in round. These have the same pretty colors. I really do like the color combination. It's a little bit different than you might see. It has the turquoise. Come on. You know, it, it's got some strange color combinations in here. It's got a lot of white around the outside edge, but it's got the purple and the teal, which I love together. Can I bring you in a little bit more to show you that? It's got the purples and the teals to go together, but it also has the pinks and rose colors and the oranges in with it. So it's got an interesting color combination. There's even green and navy and a dusty blue, um, a dusty rose color, different blues, lighter teals or aquas, and a rust and a, and a brownish color in, in as well. So that's an interesting color combination. But I, I like it. I like it a little different than normal. Um, that's why I purchased this one, because of the color combinations. I do apologize if you're hearing some of the outdoor sounds out my window. Um, it is, you know, beginning of rush hour here and the after school hour and people are rushing this way and that every day and I'm really close to the, um, the road, right next to the road here. This mandala, the straight ahead mandala, is, let's see, $29.99. So this one is $30. Let me know down below if you think it's worth the $30. I did get it in less than 30 days. Um, this order the, for the three of them, I put in March 17th, and I got them by April 11th. And remember, I go to the post office like once a week, so it may have been there for a day or two before I actually picked it up, but that's the day I picked it up from the post office, okay? Let me move this over. And the third one, and I do have, um, after this, I do have a bonus, a bonus image to show you from a different company. I just don't want to put one out for just one company. Okay, so this one has, in the box, I kept it because it does have a picture of the image that I'm going to be doing. This is the Lace Maker by Vermeer. It is a master. It is uh, square diamond shaped. I'm sure I ordered it that way. It's a 50 by 60 centimeter, which is 19.7 inches by 23.6 inches. Okay. I like to keep the bigger ones in the box uh, unless I can put them in my under bed box situation. And I'm in the middle of things at the moment. It is a beautiful, be it feels beautiful. The canvas is nice and soft but firm. We always like that, don't we? All right, I'm going to move you over smidge because I want you to see the work and not get... <laughs> you may not like seeing it next to my cup of tea. Okay, let me get my, oh, my buttons back here. Okay, here we go. 
Now, the Lace Maker by Vermeer. It has how many colors? 40 colors. It is a mixture of numbers, letters, and symbols. It has dark on dark. I don't see any white letters. Oh, I'm I am corrected. There's one or two, there are three white letters on a dark symbol. There's even a white letter on a light symbol. I don't understand that. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. She is she's pretty. She looks very much like the painting of her mirror. Um, there's some big color blocking areas in here. Down here at the bottom, um, there are some shading in in the uh, the darkness down here, but there's a big area of color blocking here and here. And there's a big area of color blocking up here beyond her head. Um, her face is pretty. It's shaded nicely. I'm hoping that it comes out as light and bright as it does on the picture, which I'll show you a little closer in a moment. It does have some nice, um, some nice color combinations in here. Of course, you can't really tell the full uh, impact of the colors until you get the drills out on the canvas. Please excuse me. Um, all three of these kits came with your basic kit, your your uh, white boat with the funnel, the cheaper metal bent tipped tweezers, you have your two, two squares of wax, you have your single tip with a two placer on the other end. I do not choose to keep the kits with them because I use other things. So, we have your pinked and poked edge. We have all the information at the bottom edge. We have some of the information, again, at the top. It is the Lace Baker by Vermeer. Oh, yes, crinkle alert. We have the same two information pages. These, again, on this sheet are very clearly done. You can tell the color and symbol much more easily printed on the paper than on the canvas. The same with the information sheet. Let me show you her pretty picture here. See how the light is reflected off her face and off her garment? I would use, if I was going to use ABs, I would use them there. If I were going to use any crystals, I would do it in the lace work that she has on her pillow here. And maybe some of the lace work hanging down on the side. Definitely ABs for that. And ABs for the lace trailing from the pillow, her lace maker pillow. It looks like it's bobbin lace that she's working on, although from this picture I can't tell definitely. But I would use that trail. And if I were going to do any more ABs, I would keep the moving, your eye moving around the canvas, but not just down here at the bottom, but I would put some in her headband and maybe in some of the light reflection in the background, just sort of sprinkle them in the background. That way you have them all over the canvas. Okay, and I was showing you the uh, symbols. Now, at the top, you'll see that there are light colored ones. And the second one, number two, is a light on light. Like I showed you before, I'm not sure I understand that. But it's easy to see here on the canvas which one it is. Okay. All right. So, all right. You don't have a pure white background. You have the the off white, the eggshell white, which I really like. You're going to find, uh, well, a lot of three tens. Yippee yahooey. Um, I won't know until I open it up if there's too if there's much trash in it, but. I imagine it's the same as the others. They might blow away or filter some of the trash out before they give it to you. It's 
a lot of natural colors, but there are some surprises here. The peach isn't much of a surprise, but these purples are, which I like. Maybe that is involved in the lace. You have a dark red among the neutrals here. Ooh, and a brilliant purple. Can you see that? That is number 327, in case you're curious. Another red and another purple. Shades of the same purple, I believe. And a pink and a red and it's not quite a, not a cranberry but it's like a dark rust that's in there as well so that's pretty so you've got the peaches you've got the neutral browns and grays with the black and the cream background and you know what okay that's the cream is a 3865 I like that more than the 5200 actually I gotta say that um, that is the big background that I wanted to show you. And some of it is in... Come on, I keep losing my buttons here. I'll show you where else I see it. Okay. Wrap this up a second so they're behaving for me. I see it not just in her, the background, but I see it in her face and in here as well. The top of her hands. I think I would use the ABs for that. Maybe the ABs in the brightest part of her, uh, her cowl here as she's looking down as well as her headband. Yeah, I think I'd like that. I probably will change out some of those drills. Okay. I will be uh, making this at some time, uh, some time ahead, so that I can put that on your uh, on the um, Excel sheet that I'm making. I'm creating an information sheet that has to do with these companies, each of these companies that I've worked on, so I can give you an evaluation of the company in general. Um, when that is ready, I will have that up for you to see. This, the cost of this one was $50.99, so it, it's $51. Again, it is a 50 by 60. While, the, while it is a medium-priced company, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I really have to, to work with the drills and the canvas to give you a better idea of whether I like the price or not. I'm, I'm leaning toward it's a little too expensive for that size painting. But then again, you know, like I said, I haven't worked with the company yet. And I will be putting that on my eventual evaluation of the company. Let's see. This was not a paid promotion. I paid for this myself, as I do mostly everything. Um, let's see. And the one I want to show you Okay. The one I want to show you that is not Pelman or Palman is from Tamu. Now I've never ordered a diamond painting from Tamu before. T-E-M-U. I will link this down below. And, but I do want to make the, the form complete and let you see the quality of these canvases. As you can see, it is a dream catcher. I really like the image. I love the colorfulness of the drills, um, of the placement here. There are 26 colors. It's a, 
um, 30 by 48, 30 by 48, and again, I believe that is the, we know by now that these companies give you the measurement of the outside of the canvas, not the pictured, um, not the pictured part. And it, like I said, 26 colors, they are numbers and letters. It is a stiff, cheaper canvas. Uh, there's no fray check on it. There's no... Um, there is, okay, at the very top, there's a teeny little thumbnail, and I could not capture one off of the site to put it on my inventory sheet. On the live that I opened this up, I did mention that, and I'll, I'll put the link to that below so you can see what other comments and stuff were made during that chat. I, I did mention that, uh how to use the inventory sheets. I have a link to these free down below if you should want your own inventory sheets to see how I do mine. If you think I'm missing anything on those sheets, please let me know because that'll help me when I write up my evaluation of the companies. Anyway, uh, they do give you the instructions across the bottom so they don't have to give you a separate sheet for that. It uh, gives you a tip that says, as the product is a manual drilling method, there may be some missing diamonds. If such a situation occurs, please contact us. We will reply to you within 24 hours until you are satisfied. So that's an interesting thing. This item number is B, as in boy, 5239. Okay, the drills come in the blister pack train here. It came with your basic kit, by the way, your basic green boat and wax, in case you were wondering. And this is a round kit. It's less likely that you will have a missing color if they send them to you in the blister pack train, because they program the computer to just sort of psh, 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 dump them out into a train um, and they pour them out and seal them right after they pour out the amount in the machine. Sorry about that demonstration here. That just was ridiculous. I guess. Anyway. All right. If you can see the color sharply, um, I'm going to show you the back. I don't think the color numbers matter as much in this. You can always replace some of these with gems or berry dust, um, sparklers, or any of those other kind of kinds. I would like to try some quads, probably in the ring of the um, in, in the ring of the. Dreamcatcher, maybe as they attach to the feathers. I think I'd like some sparkly quads in those. So I'd have to to get some special drills from Tima for those. A discount during the year of 2023 from Tima for your special drills. Check the links below for a link to that. I do not have an. It's not an affiliate link. I do not get any reimbursement from that. It all goes to Tina, which is fine. Fine with me. I'm just delighted that she could give you a discount for the drills that you might want. All right, so that's the one from Temu, T-E-M-U, online. I will link uh, the product in the description below. So this is a final on the Palman, one of the Palman Mandela's. This is the 20 by 20. It only took me a few hours to do. Uh, I like it. I don't know that it was worth the $20, but uh, I can say that it's square drills. The square drills fit for the most part. Once in a while I have a pop-up or two. The drills were not, were not over the top. Uh, so far it seems to be staying in very well um, so they all lined up pretty much evenly 
uh, if you're careful, you can get them all in. I just popped one out here. There it is. Always, when you run your hand over them later, you find one or two that were in upside down and they like to pop out. But that's with every kit, right? <coughs> but that happens with every kit, don't it, doesn't it? This has been sitting for about two weeks now and finished. Uh, I showed it during a live. And again, I don't know um, if the ones that I got from Palman, P A L M A N. P E L M A N, I'm sorry, Pelman, are worth the price, but they're nice for square drills. They don't pop a whole lot. You do have to be careful, though, because the drills do have junk in them that you will want to avoid to, to throw out. But there are plenty of drills in order to do that. So I just wanted to show you what this one looks like, and I'll peel back the the tape. It had 23 colors. It is a 20 by 20 centimeter. And their motto is relax your mind. And that is one of the way, one of the things we do with with diamond painting. So we use it to relax our mind. The eye in the mind, for some reason, has this little yellow dot. It has it in both places in mind, and I kept trying to move it like it was, I kept trying to scrape it off like it was an extra drill that fell over or something. It drove me nuts. <laughs> uh, and like I said, there is some popping, but it's easy to follow, and as long as you put don't put any junk drills in it as you're going through, you're going to have a good outcome. So I give it about a 7 out of 10 of my uh, criteria, just because the, the price brings it a little bit down. Okay, I wanted to show you how one of them turns out so that I could uh, see how I recommend this company or not. All right, we like from Tamu, and I'm going to bring you out just a little bit more. I'm not sure what manufacturer makes them for Tamu, but obviously this is a dream catcher. I put the tape around the outside edge, so don't be bothered by that. I probably could take it off now. <clears throat> okay, it does say if you're missing anything, please contact them within, <laughs> well, they'll, they'll contact you within 24 hours of the time that you um, get back to them. It was all flat drills. It was not, there was no, uh, I'm flipping one over here. I saw a black drill that I had on upside down that I'm just correcting here now that I have it. Seeing it up close. Okay. I substituted out my own uh, crystals in here. What I did was, I have a large collection of spare drills, and as close as I was able, uh, I went down the list and saw the DMC numbers on them. Ooh, I popped one off here. Right there. Right there. Oh, where did it go? Right there. You ever notice they like to pop off if you have them one upside down? Anyway, I had a lot of leftover drills. Some of them had the DMC number on them, so I matched up what I could. And then the other ones that I did not already have a DMC number for, what I did was I took the bag of drills that they did give me and went to my stash and tried to match them as close as possible. So, I don't know, it kind of looks muddy. To me, it looks better in the picture that you're seeing than it does here right in front of me. But um, I don't know. I tried to add sparkle, but I added too much and it muddied it up. I like the black background in here. I think I would have kept the ring more of a solid color rather than all these different colors. 
I think I would have done the yarn at least as it hangs down in a solid color and just do the feathers just do the feathers in the sparkly bits I think I would change that if I did it again but that again that's on me not on Tamu uh, and I believe Tamu gets them obviously from other manufacturers they're not the ones that manufacture these they're just the distributor so I'm not sure who was the actual manufacturer it does have an item number and the size is 30 by 48 centimeters Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for coming by Wanda's Work Basket. Join our chat community as we talk about diamond paintings and other fun stuff on Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, I hope you poke around my YouTube channel for a bit to see if there's anything else uh, interesting that you'd like to see. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, divas. Thank you.